Clap hands, daddy comes with a pocket full of plums. Hey, all my wigglinas, weevilinas, and everybody in between, and of course my gabies. You're watching Danny with hair and much more. I am going to show you real quick how to curl non-heat resistant synthetic hair. It can be a wig, it can be synthetic extensions, any kind of sort of synthetic hair. So anyway, so I think what we'll do is we'll start with the hair first. The first thing that you are going to need is a water bottle with just some uh, cold water in it. This is room temperature, of course, because it's been sitting around for a few days. Uh, brush and a curling iron. This is just a simple um, Conair. Oops. Conair curling iron. It's a one and a quarter inch barrel. I got it for approximately $16 at Walmart. Um, I'm using a one and a quarter inch barrel because I want the looser, more relaxed kind of curl. If I wanted a tighter curl, of course, go smaller to a one inch barrel or you could go even smaller. Uh, so, curling iron. So, and you also need a couple of bobby pins. So, pretty expensive things that you need as tools to do this. Water is free. Water bottle you can get at the dollar store for a buck. You can also get it at Walmart um, probably for 99 cents a dollar too. So, what we are first going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of hair. <clears throat> We're going to brush it out real quick. Just like so, as if you needed to know how to brush your hair. I don't know, sometimes I see some people who need to learn how to brush their damn hair. So, on to the curling iron. I have this set on one, the absolute lowest. This um, goes up to 20, looks like 20, 25. I think goes up 25 I have it on one on non heat resistant synthetic hair one do not go any higher on the future hair uh, you can go higher you can go as high as an eight on that <clears throat> but this is not future this is uh, non heat resistant but I'm going to show you that it is heat resistant I know some of you watching this probably have already seen this done a million times <clears throat> but I'm doing it for the people who don't know about this little secret. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hold it there about mm, 20 to 30 seconds is will probably suffice. Um, if you're taking thinner pieces of hair, don't hold it. You probably 10 seconds is enough because the hair the Water is going to evaporate from the hair much, much faster. The thicker, the more time it takes for the water to evaporate. You don't want to let it completely evaporate on the curling iron because then you're going to start melting the hair and you don't want to do that. So you're just going to pin it up like I just did. Grab yourself another piece of hair. Spritz it. Brush it through a little bit. Make sure you get all of the water all the way down to the ends because I, when I first started doing this, I did make a mistake and didn't get all the way down to the end, curled it and melted it. Uh, however, curling this, any of those little uh, frizzy split end looking uh, pieces, it's going to smooth the fiber back down and make the hair look renewed. So if you're thinking about throwing away that old wig, don't do it. Try this first. See if you can come up with a style. I'm I'm almost sure that um, that you can restore the wig to looking much much nicer. Actually, I think the funny thing is is that um, I think with synthetic wigs, it's much easier when you apply heat to make it look new again versus human hair. Human hair, you get split ends. It's kind of tough to um, to smooth those out nicely on <clears throat> wigs and and on uh, um, 
Oh, little brain fart there, sorry. On wigs and extensions, there we go. Just took me a minute to spit it out. I'm really, really tired today. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm having pains in my side quite a bit lately. So, I didn't sleep very well. So if I'm a little ditzy, sorry. <clears throat> so there's another piece of hair, hold it up there. You know, you can count if you want. As you go and do this uh, more and more, you'll you'll know when to release without sitting there going one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, so on. And then, so we're gonna take these down just so I can show you how it curls. And bam, there you have it. Some nice body. Uh, one and a quarter inch barrel will give you more of a body loose curl, like I said, and a one inch or smaller will give you a tighter curl if you're looking for a tighter curl. I like the loose curl. I think it looks best on me uh, on occasion when I really want to, you know, be like crazy, I'll go with the tighter curl because it makes it much, much bigger hair. So, but I like this best. So, here it is. I hope this helped you out quite a bit. So that's pretty much it for this little uh, tutorial. And I so um yeah, so that's about it. So I hope you like it, and don't forget to rate, comment, and of course subscribe. So this is Danny signing out, sending much love out to her Wavelinas, Weavelinas, everybody in between, and of course my gabies. Bye. Clap hands, daddy comes with a pocket full of blood.